Welcome back. We find ourselves in Bonifay, Florida today. We've got a treat for you. We're going to be giving you an inside scoop. You're going to have the inside story on where you can get some real beef. I'm talking about without all of the stuff that you get, the pump full uh, from all the big box stores. We come back, we're going to tell you all about it. We will be right back. Welcome back. As mentioned, we're in Bonifay, Florida today. Here we find ourselves with Nathan Toro at Double T Farms. Nathan, we were here to talk to you about Florida Panhandle Technical College and uh, found out uh, what you actually do here, what your operation is all about. Pretty exciting stuff, especially for people who want good food, who are looking for a, a, a beef, in your case, um, without all the adulterants, without all of the stuff in it. Talk a little bit about what you do here at Double T Farms. Here at Double T Farms, all of our beef is uh, no antibiotics, no hormones, no steroids. All of our animals are grass-fed. All we feed them is uh, fresh peanut hay, which I cultivate, and also uh, bale at different areas away from the farm. Also, uh, we feed the cows grass hay. We also feed them a natural feed that includes uh, fresh crushed peanut hay, soybean meal, peanut meal, peanut hulls, liquid molasses, and 12% all-stock pellets. And all of our animals are low stress. All of our animals, uh, before we can custom finish, custom order anything you want to do, they can be finished on grain if you want them. They can be finished on corn, you know, our custom feed, nothing but hay. It's any way you want it. Wow, pretty strong stuff. Now, when I said no adulterants, no, no additives, truly that and your customer your end customer the consumer of the of the product in this case the beef can actually determine how they'll be finished so if, again if they want corn or or right. ray this is the, I, I don't know of anybody else that's doing this is this a, a unique operation for the most part it's i mean it is unique because it's mine but there are other operations uh throughout the area that are also doing it in the panhandle is this uh obviously in response to consumer uh, desire or need, uh, you, you knew that there'd be a market for it and that's why you're doing it, it's got to be more expensive. It's got to be more expensive than the, the beef mills churning out the, the, the cattle um, using the additives, using the steroids and all that stuff. Um, so obviously uh, you had to find a market, a discerning market that was willing to pay for that product. Right. I mean, the, the price is different from what you see in the grocery store, but the thing about our product is there's you take out a lot of the middlemen. There's no packer, there's nobody picking up the cows from the cattle sale and hauling them to a feedlot. I mean, there's probably 10 different people that are going to touch the animals by the time they leave a cattle sale here in our local area. By the time you get one of our cows here, they've seen the farmer, they've seen the processor, and they've seen you. That's three to 10 on how many people or how many, how many people are going to ship the meat, how many people are going to freeze the meat. It's not thawed, you know, it hasn't been pumped full of, uh, you know, food coloring or pumped full of water to increase the weight. So, I mean, the consumer's getting what they pay for. Yeah, I just recently online saw a video about pink slime. 
uh, about what this uh, this hamburger gets gets mixed with uh, for for normal consumption, and I say right. normal you know, average that you'd get in a fast food store or something like that. This is really nice. So uh, now if somebody's health conscious, um, maybe even if they have certain uh, uh, allergies to certain uh, 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 chemicals and what have you, I would imagine that there are probably people who have health issues directly related to some of the steroids and some of the artificial ingredients that are being put into this meat. Right. I mean, no one knows what all the antibiotics include, the hormones include, and I mean, the consumer is the only guinea pig that gets to tell when you put all of that stuff inside you, you know, what are the end results going to be. When you feed an animal what it's naturally bred and born to eat, grass, hay, and ground up feed from soybean meal, peanut meal, crushed peanut hay, those, those animals are eating what they were born and bred to eat. So um, let me recap just to make sure that I'm squaring what you're saying. This is about as pure a meat product as, as is possible. Right. You're not using all of the additives, all of the steroids that artificially make an animal gain weight to start with. Right. Then, normally meat is processed. It's pumped full of, like you say, colorings. Dyes, yeah. water, stuff like that. Uh, some of which, a little questionable about whether or not you really want that stuff right, in your body. Right. Now, uh, Nathan, if somebody is interested in enjoying some of your product, there are opportunities for them to buy that uh, commercially now? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you have a website or a Facebook page or some place that people can go to find out more about what you? Provide? Right. They can visit Double T Farms on Facebook, or they can call my cell phone number. Or, I mean, those are the two ways we accept orders. You know. Okay. Give us that cell phone number. It's three three four seven nine eight five three three two. Okay. Um, now I notice that that's a, a, a an Alabama uh, a right. prefix on there, but you're in Florida, obviously Bonifay, right, Florida. Right. Right. Here in Bonifay, Florida, talking to Nathan Toro about um, uh, a pretty exciting uh, availability for this, this product. When we come back, we're going to take a little bit closer look at Nathan's operation and uh, give you a few reasons why you should probably be interested in what Nathan's doing right here in Bonifay, Florida, in Northwest Florida, in what we call the real Florida. We'll be right back. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more from Real Florida Outdoors. Outdoors. 